Unlike my husband, Clever, I will Yeah? What? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. City of Markarth, sure is a beauty. Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city, capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you'll... Still here. Lead on. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricca. If not, keep your nose clean when you They can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. As far as you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Get on with it! You betrayed us! You should Traitor. tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. You're all heart, Vivian. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't Traitor. deserve to speak! There was no murder! Ulfric challenged Torig. 
He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Anything you like. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. in pieces anytime. I've got your back. What do you want me to carry? I'll follow. Proud Spire Manor. Now there's a fine hall. Up for sale. Ooh, if you're interested, talk to the steward in the... You... you help me. You help people, right? That's what you do. Uh-huh. Please, take pi... My master has abandoned me. Abandoned his people. And nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Yarrow. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the Forbidden Wing of the Palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Thank you. 
Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. All right, then. He stays in the Pelagius wing of the Blue Palace. The doors are locked, and only Falk Firebeard can grant entry. But I hear the maids, Una and Erdi, know how to enter it for cleaning. Surely they could help for such an important matter. Without his guidance, our homeland is falling apart. North wages war against South. The Holy Flame flickers and dies. We need his return. Oh, but I'm sure he'll repay you when he comes to his senses. His favor is a powerful, powerful thing, and so very worth any inconveniences. He is a great man, but one rarely praised. He rules twin empires that span the length and breadth of our minds. All know him, but few can name him. But he has forbidden me from saying his name. He says it distracts him, and woe to those who draw his ire. But you will know him when you see him. He's the one who made me like this. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Until next time. Unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under Your Eminence. Please, don't My scrum interrupt has the court. Nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for. Oh yes, of course you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. The Imperials are good. Huh? Do you have business with the court? You mean the Dragonbridge issue? I'll be honest with you, I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must... Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Of course he does. Maybe you have been... You'll bet... She may be... You do well to remember that. Of course... Maybe you've been listening to... You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to re... She may be young, but I'll... You do well. Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed for hundreds of years, and for good reason. 
They say the ghost of Pelagius the Mad still haunts it. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule that are best left buried away. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open forum. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. I am the Jarl Steward. If you have court business, Absolutely not. That wing has been sealed. Ghost or not, there are reminders of his dark rule. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Well, I suppose in that case it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Don't mess anything up while you're here. right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance? Sing? Smile? <laughs> grow old? You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. Had a rumph! Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. to host an old friend for a decade or two. Really? Oh, oh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do, little joke, but seriously, what's the message? Where are you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, what was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter! Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You do realize who you're dealing with here. Wrong! Actually, you do. 
Sartan. I am a part of you, little mortal. I'm a shadow in your subconscious. A blemish on your fragile little psyche. You know me. You just don't know it. Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness, at your service. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday! Complete! Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Is it? Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. Something to crow about with Pelagius up and about. Hey. Ah! Well, now that's 
something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about. Well, now that's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Yes? Something to say? Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. be having a small problem, or perhaps it's a big problem. Maybe if you shrunk the whole thing down a little first. Here we go. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Just a scratch! Wonderfully done! Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue hating everyone else. I'm all ears. doing the fish stick. It's a very... Oh, I'm so happy for you. My, what a burden to have carried. But you've done it. You've conquered your own inner demons. Bravo. Um, you... It didn't mean yourself. You meant Pelagius. Well, same congratulations apply. Just, you know, for what you did for the insane emperor. Conquering paranoia should be a snap after that ordeal. Hmm? Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired. He forbade inside the mind of Pelagius. Oh, is it your first time? Oh, good choice. Well, good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it so. You see, Pelagius's mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, 
She was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? Forget that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned at a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. Oh, I thought you'd never figure it out. With the threat gone, Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe, which means you've helped him out, sort of. And we're that much closer to home. Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. Very delicate stick. Hmm. Fixed is such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash, or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go, really. Pelagius Septum the Third. Once the hmm. So I have been known to change my mind. So well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone simply boggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, check. Beard, check. Luggage, luggage. Now where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? Oh, happy times. I can't wait to... Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, my little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Wabajack as a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart! Ha <laughs> ha! Ta-ta! Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Staying safe, I hope.
Citizen. Damn, Storm. If it's arms or armor you need, see Baron in Castle Dower. Bloody good blacksmith, that one. I remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Ricca. I suspect we could use someone like you. Good. I'm telling Speak you, with Legate Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. He'd be insane to try. He you survived die. Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence I can use. Bravado gets soldiers killed. We'll soon find out. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. The Ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first, you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. That's not what my scouts report. What's the matter? It's not a cause. What's the matter, it's a rebellion. I gave you... Call it whatever what you like, like, General. Again. Going to try to take White Run. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. I've got your back. I'll show you what I know. What do you want me to carry?
You shouldn't leave weapons laying around. Someone could get hurt. And if I see you doing it again, that someone will be you. Have I made myself clear? No? Do you care about rotting away for a month in a cell? Ah, but nobody wants that, right? Painful for you, annoying for me. So, you pay my fine, and you walk away. Is that so? Well then, I'll have to charge you with disturbing the Jarl's peace. Wait, I know you. Seems there's no end to the need looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Return anytime you need arms or armor. Stranger. My forge never rests. Off the coast away ways to the I'm east and find the battery. It doesn't right matter now. how many times you ask. You might want to rethink that. You know you can afford a septum or two. 